word becomes stronger, that my faith will become sharper, that I will know the word and know what to apply, that I may understand people better in my circumstances. What is it that you want me to learn? He was a handsome Jew. Oh man, he's got some shoulders. And he's got this cap of a chin, and when he walked, he walked with a swagger. No, he was not in the You see, he was handsome. Thank you. He was hot. And when he walked around, he had this swagger. And there was something of the grace of God upon Joseph that they could not explain. It was attractive. Sometimes the grace upon your life can be attractive. It is not your physical beauty. Listen, there is a single person for whom the grace of God comes upon your life. Your very skin can change character. And listen, we don't understand what grace comes from our life. You go up the Moses. When he was in the presence of God, after he had been there just 40 days in another 40 days, when he came down, people could not go and see him because his face was shut from being in the presence. When you like to hide yourself as part of your process in the presence of God, when you come out, they won't understand. I don't know why I'm doing this for you, but I don't know why I'm doing this for you, but but you don't know why he's doing it, but because you are God. You will know. They did not understand. Of all the women in the house, women servants, young girls and daughters, of He kept on looking at this huge boy. The Hebrews whom the Egyptians know. You understand? A slave whom the high arts will not respect. That's something about this boy. And when this woman saw it, I will have This guy is giving me heart. I don't understand. I don't understand what he's doing to me. When they begin to see the Asian stuff from the system. He does something to me. The process comes and brings you to a stage where you become, from rejection, you now become a peace. You must know how to handle that. I listen. You must know how to handle that. Now you become, but everybody is looking for you. You handle it well when you were rejected. You switched yourself, you became strong, and you have a desire. To be desired. Now suddenly, from being rejected, you are now being desired. Hello. And if you are not careful, your head will jump and get into the clouds. And then you begin to walk. <laughs> I'm the man, and I'm the man. Sometimes it happens to us. Yeah. You speak once, you speak twice. You go minister somewhere and so all of a sudden the next thing is that everybody says, Pastor, you come to church. Pastor, you come to church. Say, yeah, I have a bag. I have a bag. I have a I have a bag. Some places you may be invited to go, but you are not called to go. Some places you may be set a platform for you. Everything by God has the same thing. There are some platforms to go to some door, which will result in more problems for you. The woman said, Life. 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 Life.
the woman deliberately went out so that several of them out. And Joseph did not send the trouble. He enters to do his work, wishing like Bishop was wishing this morning. <laughs> Doing his own thing. Lo and behold, he gets into some place and all of this. <laughs> this is human power. Today, you and I, human power. Help you. <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, those jackets are not like the one we are wearing today. You see, to get out of this, it is easy. When you grab the cross, you know, we push out. You see, there are some families that you need to learn how to run. <laughs> we began to run. Ah! We began to run. There are some races you must learn to run fast. We began to run. Run. He disposed of himself. I better get out of here. Quick. And he began to run. This run was a run to preserve. The ultimate man. Everything. The same way in your prison. Mm. 
he began functioning at a righteous death. He didn't bother. You put me in prison, okay? After a little bit of time, he switched. The same way he was functioning when he was a slave free. Now he was in prison as a slave. He functioned the same way. The prison, the jailer said, to Joseph, yes, sir. And whilst he was doing it, uh, they did and he was doing it. You must learn to function in joy whilst you are going to say, Amen. 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 And he kept on doing it. Kept on doing it. Kept on doing it. And then soon, everything that happened in the prison, the jailer went to sleep. Hold on his hand. And Joseph ordered everything. They were never done. Then one day, something was wrong. The back. The back. The back. Who gives wine? It means that you know those times, those people, your life is forfeit. In order to prevent the famous one, you would taste his wine and stand there, don't go away, you stand there while they are talking. If anybody has poisoned the field, you will die first. That was the responsibility of the You understand? What a job. You understand? And so you will stand there, you drink some. All your thoughts you drink and then put it down. You stand there. And they'll be talking, talking, talking. So a lot of information and a lot of different kinds of high class people who sit at table table, you'll be seeing them. You'll be knowing what they come there for. All of that goes. You know it. You know it. Because any day, any day, it will be gone. It was thrown in prison. Then there was somebody else, the baker, teaching staff. I tell you, you check. Is anyone here who belongs to teaching staff? Anyone here who belongs to teaching staff? Anybody? Nobody. Okay, then I can go ahead and say Teaching staff. They can cross you. I tell you, too. When they're in the kitchen, while the food is going on, what do you do? You talk. You talk about the people who are coming to eat the food. You understand? That is what you talk about. So when you receive an order in a palace, that someone goes, we get this. Another time, without warning, the people come. Can you imagine who has come here today? It is that. Uh, did he come alone? No, it was some, some small girl for the. Oh, this man. Eh? Information. He came to the same time. And Joseph was to serve him. And as he was serving him, serving him, serving him, one day, Three years before time, God planted a dream. Just to sow the seed for the future. Planted a dream. It's a dream. And they both dream. He said, What's the problem? You see, I want you to see something. When Joseph had his dream, there was no one to look at. By the time these two had their dream, Joseph had become an interpreter. Having gone through the process, he had prayed. Having gone through the process, he had meditated. Having gone through the process up until this time, he was a changed man. Hello? He now had the capacity to eat. And he also understood that it is God who gives his application. How did he attain that? Here's the answer. He says, oh, tell me your name. This one said, he says, your name. Three days, Pharaoh will release you and restore you. So the other one says, Oh, it sounds good. <laughs> it sounds good. Do not seek interpretation for your dream on account of somebody else's dream. Yeah. 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 Quickly, the brought up another one. He said, Okay. Oh, you well, are. Release and restoration. Oh, my home. Three days, Pharaoh will release you. But he will help your head and back. Mm. If I had known that she would have asked. <laughs> you know. And it happened exactly. Look, there are some people who go to give up mm. in order to prepare the way for you. Are you listening? Are you listening? Yes. You see, I do believe that this thing happened so that it will be confirmed the authenticity of the capacity to be done. So that will become. Something in the back ahead of time. 
he assigned it and exactly as he interpreted it. One was to saw the light, the other was taken up. Exactly. But when the guy came out, he forgot. Yeah. We didn't remember. Some of us we forget the good things that people do for us. We only remember the bad ones. Hello. Lo and low. That is the work of it. When the time came, there are certain dreams God will not give to the believer. There are certain dreams God will not give to the believer. He gives it to wealthy leaders. And it is an interpretation that is given to the hands of the believer. So God will struggle you and push you to a certain point. So sometimes you find certain ministers and churches trying to justify for political position. And when they get there, because they have no interpretation for anything, they can be of no use to the nation. Two years, now he joins. All the magicians will not do anything. We find the same thing happening in the day of that day. All the magicians will not do anything. And the interpretation was with God and his people. So then the man said, Oh, I now remember. Forgive me. There was a young man, a Hebrew slave, in a dungeon with us when we came to us. And he, he had a dream. Same thing. He interpreted the dreams accurately. Please, get this time. Then for the fifth time, he said to the The process will include your consistent change of garments. Hallelujah. You understand? God will give you a different cloak every time. Every time he will give you a different cloak. When it was changed, he now shaved, was dressed at night, went up to fail. He gets there. Lo and behold, he stole the dream. He says, Oh, Phil, your dream is one dream. <laughs> the meaning is simple. This, this, this. After he took the dream, he told him, this very unwanted slave. Suddenly, he was a sister, I am there. And only in this room, I will be greater than you. But all my leaders, you will be alive. Nobody will move a finger except my foot. Now, if Joseph had aborted the process and tried to escape, he would not have left the place. Don't abort. Don't abort the process. If some of the things that I'm telling you now, you find them rich the and deep, then know that for the past 30 something years, 40 years, God has been taking it. You understand? That is why when He said to you at the beginning, there are fathers here. He said to you at the beginning, when you put all of these people together, you get over 150 years of ministry experience. That is what you do. I have made serious mistakes before. Mm. I have fallen flat on my face before. I'm not saying what is what you can use your own imagination. That is what you can do. All I'm saying to you is that as a human, I have tripped. I have fallen. I have said things I shouldn't say. I have done things I shouldn't do before in this shop. But every time you get into that place, you pick yourself and brush off the bed and lift up your eyes and keep looking ahead. You don't listen. God will take you through tribulation. You will go through periods of persecution. And you will go through periods when God will begin to grant you insight and perception and change your focus and change your idea. And then you begin to see that, oh, I see, I'm not the only one going through this. And you begin to form a line and say, no more. And when you learn this, you begin to become the one who encourages others. You no longer are looking at your circumstances. For Joseph in that situation, you begin to encourage. And as you begin to encourage, you grow stronger. In encouraging others, you end up encouraging yourself. You end up encouraging yourself. Turn your attention from your own business. Begin to encourage somebody. Look somebody else up and encourage them. 
You think your situation is bad. Wait till you hear other people's thoughts. Begin to discover. When the test comes, you begin to discover friends. Seven years of plenty come and go. He came out of prison at age 30. From 17 to 30, 13 years. Are you listening? Are you listening? That the, end, the vision he saw, the dream he saw, has still not been fulfilled. Another seven years happens, don't tell you. Then in the second year of the family, when the king years, 22 years after that dream, when he was 17, now he's back. 22 years of process, 22 years of preparation, 22 years of persecution and liberty, 22 years of being prepared and being brought. Suddenly he comes up. Oh, praise God. Praise God, the father's son. And he's now dressed with all the mascara of an Egyptian, the headgear of an Egyptian ruler, the snake and the sun, and all of that. And the, the Israelites will not do that. His arms are rippling. They will wear ordinary that. His arm is missing. Brass band and all of those in short set. And walking in sandals and looking in me. <laughs> that was the outer form. The inner form was a man sent from God. The inner form was a man sent from God. And as he stood there, he was a man sent from God. And he was taking care of business in Egypt. Then his brother said, All of a sudden, the dream. I will announce to you this afternoon that you may be going through some point where you think that I have had it, I'm tired, and you may have spoken some things. Indeed, as I was sitting here while he was ministering, the Spirit of God spoke to me that some people need to be dealt with this afternoon right now in a short time. Because you spoke some things with your own mouth because of the circumstances you were going through. And those things are now beginning to fight against you for years now. Some of you also have the serious wound of rejection that you have not allowed yourself to be from. And everywhere there is a wound of rejection, it attracts more rejection until you allow yourself to be Hello. And people who have suffered from the wound of rejection and have not been healed, they find it difficult to receive love. They are always suspicious of love. Hey.
I was nothing of God chapter one. They came to him, John, who are you? Are you Christ? He says no. Are you Elijah? He says no. Are you a prophet? He says no. So who are you? Frustration. Who are you? And when he opened his mouth, he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. He cried in the way of the Lord. Now listen to this, though. You are getting excited before the time. Listen to this. And he said, just as the prophet Isaiah has said. When did prophet Isaiah say that? It was 450 years earlier. He said, I am that word. Are you listening to me? I am that word. That God spoke 450 years before I was born. I am the word from God. You are the word from God. Everything that God declares has one characteristic. He says, Every word that comes out of my mouth shall not be told of me. It shall accomplish. It shall accomplish. So I have the capacity within me that I will accomplish the divine purpose of God. I will not be. Okay. So if on the next ten years you be chewing on this, don't chew on it. It is all right. 
I listen to them. It says that I saw them. And then listen to this. And in the world. And in the world. Go. Oh, this one says my members. Other version says the number of days. There is a sign of you. There is a sign of you. And your name is on that sign. And God has sign. Your day is written in that time. So when you begin to discover, this is what prophecy is supposed to do for you. I listen. When the prophecy is true and correct and mature, it begins to read from your side. That's right. Hello. Begins to read from your side. And sometimes the prophecy will read from page 32 and jump from page 1 to 32. And somebody else will come and read page 75 of the 150. And then somebody else comes and read from page 5. You understand? According to each one, we have capacity to think. As God opens it up. And as you keep praying, and keep praying, and keep praying, and keep praying, you go through the process, and you go through the journey, and you keep running the race, and you don't give up. And then it comes back. I will leave you with this picture. There was a race run by many creatures. They were to end up the top back of the second class. And all the British were back. And the room was stuck. One and the other fell. There was a fall yes, that kept on going.
God wants to stop him. Hallelujah. 